So lately in my tutorials, I've been focusing on ways to replace the software navigation bar. I did this a couple weeks ago on the OnePlus 5T, which just required a simple application that you installed so that you can disable the navigation bar. On the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, this is a bit more complicated as you will need TWRP installed which means that you're going to have to have the bootloader unlocked so that you can flash a zip file that has been made for your specific version of Android, whether it's 8.0, 8.1, whatever is available from the community developer, which I have linked in the original tutorial. And I'll have that in the full tutorial where you can find linked under this video. That previous guide simply showed you how to disable the software navigation bar. So if you only did that and did nothing else, then you could not navigate through Android. You would find yourself booting up, unlocking the phone, opening an application, and then that would be it. There is no way to close it by any conventional means. No way to switch to other applications, go back to the home screen by conventional means. So this is where these alternative uh, software navigation applications come into play. Now I've always been a fan of Pi Controls ever since Paranoid Android Custom ROM had integrated them a few years back. I tried this on the OnePlus 5T and had issues with it being triggered consistently, whether that was due to the glass display or the case I was using. Whatever the issue was, I found it to be not as reliable as I remembered it and how I needed it to be. So at the time, I looked for another application called Swipe Navigation. And what this does is it lets you set specific actions on particular swipes from the bottom of the screen. So where we normally have our back, home, and recents button, those are now being replaced by short swipes from the bottom of the screen in that location. So the, on the left side would be back, in the middle would be your home and on the right side would be your recents. That worked very well on the OnePlus 5T and it still works very well on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to reach that far left side when you're using the phone with one hand. So again, I do still believe there is benefit of using Pi Control since you can either set it to the bottom right or bottom left of the screen, depending on how you use the phone, or you can set it to the side, which I actually prefer it to be. So even though I have this simple navigation application set up, I also have simple Pi Control set up. And they let you choose between the different icons. You can see you get three buttons in your Pi, and you can choose which action those are, and then a long click, which whenever you activate it and hold your finger or thumb on that button, what activates them. And there's a lot of things to choose from here. We have some options of the size, the inner size, vibration, if you like that, and even the color options. Then we have clock options if you wanted to have the clock or the battery bar, which is usually on by default, and you have all of that information there. I'm not a fan of that. I like things to be simple and minimalistic. I just want this thing for navigating. And then we have our active area to where we can set this thing on the left. If we don't want it on the left, then we can disable that. We can have it on the right or you can have it on the bottom or even just the corners. And like I said, even though if you set it on the bottom, 
you can position it all the way to the side, which would make it easier for whichever hand you're using it on. I like to have it on the right, and I like to have it about where my thumb will be, which I can change the height and adjust it here, make it very long, a very big activation area, or a very small, depending on your preference. And you can even change the width which will make it easier to activate, but could also interfere in some of your applications. Again, this is all personal preference, which will be dependent on how you use your phone, what case you have on your phone, even a skin could have an interference on this. It's all personal preference and it's all customizable and free. Now the swipe navigation is free for certain of the certain uh, features some of them are behind a in-app purchase. And then I also wanted to show that there was another one. I'm, there are dozens of different alternative software navigation applications in the Play Store. These are just some of the ones that I have become aware of and used and practiced myself. This is a simple one called Gesture Control. I'll have these three applications linked in the full tutorial of this guide and again I just wanted to show that there was these different ways that you can control the pixel 2 and the pixel 2 XL and replace your software navigation buttons with gesture controls which can be incredibly incredibly convenient 